Hey, my people, how now did? Once again, we welcome you to this channel, Ini TV. Ephraim Naruna, Imafido Indusuge TV. We are global and social commentators. So, like this week, we also had a lot of news from Nigeria, especially the one that has to do with the uprising that is happening in Nigeria. The issue that I am a little bit afraid eh, is like, if you look at what is happening now, one begin to wonder. If we want to look at it critically, the Fulani are the tribe. They are very intelligent, don't get me wrong. But they are the tribes that do not go to school. As early as 12 years old, they are involved in cattle, taking care of their folks, you know. They have been trained to be nomadic people, moving from place to place. But it baffles me that the Fulanese that we think are not educated, they are the one ruling the Nigeria. They are everywhere. How did they get to this position? I was beginning to, to wonder. They not only have displaced the Hausa people, they are ruling over the Hausa people. Remember how Dasuki was removed by a Fulani governor. So I begin to ask myself. We also know how the Sokoto Caliphate, you know, happened years back, you know. So the Fulani are are spreading, eh? Like my last video, Fulani has as the president or head of state in seven countries in West Africa. These are Senegal, Gambia, Niger, Chad, Burkina Faso, Nigeria, and Saturn, Sudan. They are also now trying to dig their way into Mali. You see, there is crisis now in Mali. We all are aware that Buhari also went there with good luck, Jonathan, to try as much as possible to, me to mediate. So if they finally are able to put a full anima as the helm of affair in Mali, that will be eight countries in West Africa that the Fulani are ruling over. We will also remember that they did everything possible to get Satan Sudan. So, my question now is, is it not possible that all this that they are doing even if they cannot get the entire Nigeria, they want to get the northern part of Nigeria. But I think their aim is to get the entire entity called Nigeria. Because I watched a certain video. I'm not too sure his name. Where he, a full animal was, was saying, the Oye in the Niger Delta belongs to the Fulani. You know? He said the Oye in the Niger Delta belongs to Fulani. And they want to try as much as possible to take it. 
so that is why I am beginning to think that their hidden agenda is the entire land space called Nigeria. We could remember Fulani do not really the Fulani who, who know don't really have a country because they are nomadic people. Is it possible now that they have decided that they want to settle down and where they have paid is Nigeria? We also learned that they are holding meetings in Chad, Niger, and Nigeria. These three regions are like their headquarters. Then I asked myself, why this killing? Fulani, they take pride in killing. Even when Ramadan was going on last month, they went about with reckless abandon, kidnapping, killing people from the north, from the east and west. So I now ask myself, a true Muslim will not commit a crime, a crime in Ramadan. But this Fulani, they have thrown caution to the wind that I am beginning to think they are not even Muslims. They are not even Muslims. Because while I was growing up, we, did, we learned that the Hausa Fulani was the most honest person. If he tell you so, the Fulani the of these days are into all sort of havoc, kidnapping, rape, killing, banditry. Just recently, about four hundred Fulani were caught. This bureau they change. They were linked to Boko around there we are walking with Boko around you know so and I begin to ask myself why has the Fulani so changed and why are they desperate I don't know but what we understood is that they have been financed by People from Libya, from Algeria, and from Yemen, and Iraq. So, why are they picking on West Africa? We also discover that if you look at the world resources, 60% of the world resources are in Africa. Is it good? Damo, uranium, gas. What can you not think of? Agricultural products too. So, I believe that there are some countries behind these Fulani people. Like I started, these people are not so educated. How come they are so, so corny, so trickish? And every finger is pointing to France. France is gaining a lot from Nigeria. Siphoning a lot from Nigeria. Siphoning a lot from French-speaking African countries. So they are trying to perpetrate havoc, crime in this part so that they will always be looked upon by their French colony. Say, for example, what is going on in Mali? The French is not really concerned, but I know when that thing got to a very bad stage, that is when they comes in and offer to help. So, I begin to look that there is a connection between Fulani terrorist group France 
and Libya. Also countries from the Middle East or Far East too. I remember I watched a video where the Ododua are asking Russia to intervene because there are some other superpower like France in this Nigerian issue. We don't know how this story is going to end. But I pray that the southern part of Nigeria get their independence so that they will be able to wolf out this Fulani that is an instrument of France or any other countries trying to create problem in Africa so that they can come in and begin to siphon our resources. That's my opinion. There is more to it than just the desperation about the full There is more to it. There are some backings. Anyway, we are still investigating. So I want you to drop a comment if you have any ideas on this issue drop your comment and remember subscribe to our channel we are in the tv if you don't know if you this okay tv and when you subscribe just press your notification button so anytime we make video you get it straight like we used to say in this channel stay blessed and stay safe bye bye